My name is Luke Cascuini. I'm a consultant oral and maxillofacial surgeon. I have a special interest in head and neck cancer and reconstruction, and that involves cancers of the mouth and jaws and the management, but not just the resection of the cancer, but the reconstruction of the tissues that are resected. And that sometimes involves microvascular surgery and free flap reconstruction. But there are other parts of it, especially bone reconstruction, that require custom prostheses, as they're called. And when the surgery involves the jaw joint, it's particularly complicated because the jaw joint is so complicated and requires planning and design of joints ex extending into the jaw. And that is a special interest of mine and I'm very proud to have the, one of the largest series in the world of extended TMJ reconstruction. That's usually for benign tumours that don't require radiotherapy. I'm also very pleased to have carried out the first total lower jaw reconstruction in that way. I have a special interest in TMJ surgery generally and um, carry out arthroscopic joint procedures including surgical disc plication within the joint through arthroscopic techniques which I'm very proud of. I run a course at Guy's Hospital on TMJ surgery. It's a combination of lectures and also cadaveric what we call wet lab uh, teaching and that includes uh, basic and advanced arthroscopy and also TMJ replacement surgery. Many patients come to me from their dentist and often patients with clicky joints or pain will see their dentist and their dentist will diagnose TM dysfunction and they'll quite often start splint therapy and of course most of those patients will get a good response to that but those that don't will usually return to their dentist and quite often at that stage the dentist will refer the patient on to me for further assessment. I get quite a lot of patients from GPs as well and patients will go to their GP with facial pain and clicky joints as well. A lot of patients from ENT surgeons because a lot of TMJ pain feels as if it's coming from the ear and of course patients with TMJ problems also quite often get audiological problems. I get quite a lot of patients from rheumatologists Patients with rheumatoid or psoriatic arthropathy are often having their condition treated by the rheumatologist and they'll often ask me for an opinion regarding the patient's TMJ. But of course, patients don't have to be referred by their GP or their dentist or another clinician to come to see me. They can self-refer.